welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a swatch party slash review video for you guys. Now I feel like review videos are meant to be more detailed, but I don't know. This is kind of different. I kind of wanted to swatch these palettes for you guys. Kind of see, I feel like the swatches speak for themselves. So I'm going to stop blabbering and get into this video on new face palettes specifically like highlighting palettes and uh, we'll go from there hey guys so the whole reason I'm filming this video is the Natasha Denona diamond and blush palettes I talked about buying these but I never really did a dedicated video for them so I was just gonna swatch these for you because I actually swatched them on my Instagram stories and I was pretty freaking disappointed to the point where I don't even use these on a daily basis my plan is to actually return these, but I did feel like they were worth making a video of just because they are so, so pricey. So I actually couldn't decide, so I bought both because I'm an excessive person and I get it. I'm trying to work on it. Definitely a self-proclaimed makeup addict. So this is the first one and this is called Daria. And this is like the palette for lighter skin tones. And that's the other thing I hate about my... Not I hate. Hate is a strong word. What I feel like sucks about, not even sucks, it's like maybe it's an advantage of having my skin tone. I feel like I'm right in the middle so I can buy the palette for lighter skin tones and I can buy the palette for darker skin tones and still get away with both of them. So that's a little bit annoying when you're trying not to buy every single fucking thing. Now these palettes are so strange because there are like a cream product section so there's this little plastic flap but I really don't think that makes the product airtight so I don't know what they're trying to achieve with that I mean they feel pretty creamy but I just feel like the pigmentation of these is so lacking and I know I am pretty much not really into cream products so that might be why I'm so hard on these and I've never put the cream products on my face so I need to say that I'm not proclaiming myself as the expert on this palette by any means but once you blend these into your skin I feel like for $89 I'm not seeing anything that's like mind-blowing so if you guys remember when these palettes were announced Natasha Denona had beautiful pictures of this model I'm gonna post a picture because it's such an attractive picture where her face is just like a glowy pinky gold blush color and it's beautiful and it's this blush color it's gorgeous but the thing is it's too light for me so when I put it on it just looks like a gold highlighter the pink gets eaten up into my face and one of the main reasons I bought this palette was for that color so now I feel like the palette is basically not really what I was hoping for and I just can't justify keeping it because that shade just doesn't show up. Now, if you were lighter than me, I think that shade will show up on you, and I think it'll be beautiful, but for me, it's just it's just another highlighter. It's just another pinky highlighter, so that doesn't make sense for me to keep it. And now I'm going to swatch the non-creamy section, and this is the first shade in that, and this is called a diamond powder, and it's basically sheer glitter. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this because I can't wear it, on my face it's basically like it blends into nothing like I don't even know if you can see that it's beautiful but it's basically like pressed glitter what is the point of that like what is the point of having that and then there is this blush which I feel like you know I can find anywhere I don't need that in a $89 palette and it barely shows up on my skin I mean I'm trying to swatch it for you guys it's just not a flattering color on my tan skin and then she has a Glow Extreme, which is a powder highlight. And I don't feel anything extreme coming from this. It's very powdery. It blends away. And I don't know. It's just not a flattering color for me. So very disappointed in this palette 01 from Natasha Denona. And I haven't really been hiding my disappointment with the brand. So I get a lot of comments from people saying like, okay, just stop buying Natasha Denona because it just doesn't work out for you. And honestly, these palettes, I really don't think are worth it. But I did get to go and see Natasha Denona's display at Sephora when I was in Vegas this past January. And I did find a gem. 
This is actually the blush I'm wearing on my skin today. So if you have my skin tone, I would just go for this. I would skip this palette because it's just expensive. And this is 45 bucks too, so it's not cheap by any means. But you get like 10 grams of product. So I feel like I'm never going to get through this because honestly, like blush is so hard to tan. But I am obsessed with this. And this is kind of what I was wishing the pinky one had been. Was more of a blush with some shimmer than more of a highlight with some like pink coloring. This is a bomb freaking blush, you guys. And it's so pigmented. And it just has like a beautiful peach hint of gold. I love this. They also have another color in this formula, which is called the Duo Glow. Um, but that was like a more hot pink. And I don't really like to wear pink much on my skin unless it's like a bright pink like really sheared out but I tend to gravitate towards more of those peachy and bronzy tone blushes and I feel like shimmery blushes are really going to be in this year so if you're interested I would just say pick this up and skip the Natasha Denona palette and then I just want to talk about palette number two Again, this one I was so attracted to, basically this yellow color. I've never seen such a bright yellow highlight. It doesn't look like Rihanna's highlighter. The Trophy Wife highlighter is more of a yellow golden highlighter. This is more like a lemon highlighter. So I was really excited. But let me show you guys swatches. Again, I just feel like the cream products, not really my cup of tea. And I just feel like they just blend away again to nothing. This cream highlighter is a little bit better. And it is like a cream to powder formula. So it is pretty nice. And maybe I'm just not giving it a chance. But I just am, I just can't justify keeping this for this highlighter. And I mean, it's not really the most flattering highlighter on my skin tone either. Because it's like a greeny yellow. <laughs> like it's like a lime green highlighter. And I feel like I maybe can find that in the Aurora palette. So again, I feel like I kind of screwed myself over. And then again, the diamond powder in this is beautiful, but it's basically just glitter. Like it's straight up just like pressed glitter. It doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> it's just like I'm rubbing glitter all over my face. So I'm confused about that one. And then the blush in it again, I feel like has really no, I don't know, no like punch to it. So I'm like, why would I keep it for that? And then this is their Glow Extreme, which I feel like if you're going to call something Glow Extreme, like, why isn't it glowing extremely? <laughs> like, I'm really trying to pick up some pigment here, and I feel like, like the Wet n Wild highlighters do more glow than this one. So I'm just disappointed in both of these palettes. And like I said, I could sit here and give you guys like a full pro and con list, but as soon as I swatched them for Instagram, I was kind of like already regretting buying them. So that is my take on the Natasha Denona palettes. Now I want to show you some more affordable palettes that I feel like you can kind of achieve the same look as these Natasha Denona ones. And then I found even cheaper palettes from the drugstore that I kind of wanted to throw all in one video so you guys could just kind of get an idea of like affordable dupes to the Natasha Denona palettes or just like more affordable face highlighting palettes that I picked up recently. Okay guys, so I wanted to highlight these palettes for you because I feel like these are definitely hidden gems in the Sephora collection. Now I picked up this one which is Spice Market first and I actually had a YouTuber friend recommend this palette to me when they saw me talking shit about the Natasha Denona palettes. I was very excited to let them know that I actually already had this one. And this is, I think, a real hidden gem. These are like $28 from Sephora Collection. As you can see, you get six shades here. So there are some beautiful blush shades, and I just think this palette for darker skin tone is going to be amazing. But I can still get away with it as well. This orange blush... Oh my gosh, you guys, I have been looking for a, not really a dupe, but I've always wanted to buy NARS's blush called Taj Mahal, but you can't get it really anywhere except like on NARS.com. And I don't want to commit to it because what if I hate it, you know? And so recently when I was in Vegas, I was able to go into a NARS boutique and swatch Taj Mahal and I didn't want it anymore because I have it in this palette. So I just think this is a really hidden gem and if you don't want to splurge on the Natasha Denona palettes I would honestly recommend 
splurging on one or two of these. They also have a highlighting blush palette for lighter skin. I don't think I'll pick that one up because I feel like those shades I already have. But this one I felt like was definitely more unique to my collection. And then they have a contour, like an all matte contour as well. I love the size of these. They're so compact and great for travel. I took this with me to Las Vegas when I went because there was a highlighter in here I could use. And then this shade, which is a blush I believe, I can just easily use as a bronzer. So... I just love this palette and these shades are just so good for fall time and then they recently launched this one and I have been eyeballing it for weeks and I was just like Karen you don't need it you don't need it don't buy it don't buy it don't buy it so I didn't and then I got a Ebates check and now Ebates is doing like um, you can buy gift cards with your big fat check instead of just getting the check and you get a little extra percentage up so I obviously opted for Sephora.com and so I actually ended up getting this with my big fat check so I felt a little bit better about it because I was like I don't really need to spend out of my own wallet but this is check this gift card's cut specifically for Sephora so let me buy it and so far I'm really enjoying it I love the blush shades you guys the highlighters are definitely a little bit outside the box for me but I feel like this first color is a good replacement to that yellow shade in the Natasha Denona palette and I just feel like this is also a really good dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills like Moonchild Glow Kit and the Aurora Glow Kit and I also like that this palette isn't just all highlighters because then if you're like traveling at least you'll get some blushes to go with the highlighters you know so it's like a multi-purpose product so I have been wearing this quite a bit in the last week or so. I actually wore this shade in a bunch of my videos from last week or the previous week. So you're going to see this same highlighter reoccurring in quite a few videos. But honestly, I think this is a great hidden gem. And they're like 28 bucks versus these guys. And I would honestly recommend them over the Natasha Denona ones. Okay guys, so the last face palettes I want to feature in this video are by the brand Milani. So I kind of gave you like the high end, the middle, and now we're going to drugstore because I do feel like these are decent quality for the price. I believe these are like under 15 bucks. And I really like the Milani highlighting powders. So if you don't want to splurge on Natasha Denona, this might be a good option for you. Now, some of these are a little bit powdery, so I would definitely like blend them on your skin. But they are quite blinding. As you can see, they definitely pack a punch. And I like that they did one with some really fun colors. So the pink one is called Unicorn Dreams. Then they have one called Make Believe. And then the last one is called otherworldly so very very fun shades and kind of like the dupe for the drugstore dupe for these three highlighters in the sephora palette so just wanted to show you that if you're in the market i feel like i've been showing you two of everything i of course picked up the neutral one this is the one called rose glow sorry and this one is number two and this is called holographic dreams so i don't know if they have a number one i didn't see it at walmart when i picked these up but these are just so freaking fantastic and they look so well made for a drugstore you know what i mean so that's what i love about milani's highlighters i have the individual ones too and they're my absolute favorite highlights Look at these go on. They're so freaking bright and gorgeous. So here are some drugstore dupes to some of those Natasha Denona highlighters that are in the big highlighting and blush palettes. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. Like I said, I basically had two of everything and they were all different price ranges. So I just wanted to show you guys, you don't always have to go for the most expensive. There are other options. You can try the mid range or the drugstore range. So there is a little bit of everything for everyone. And yeah, I just thought it was cool because I was really let down by these Natasha Denona palettes and 
now I feel like I have it in my collection so I don't really feel like I need to be that disappointed and I also have this little guy by Natasha Denona so I think I'm gonna be able to hang in there and get my glowy blush fix I'm so into glowy blushes you guys anyway I'm really curious to know do you guys have any of these products and what do you think about them let me know in the comments I'd be really interested to hear from you and thank you so much for watching this video I'll catch you on the next one Bye, guys.